Hello and welcome to Tech Savvy Seniors, a New South Wales government initiative in partnership with Telstra. Today we will be looking at an introduction to Zoom. In this course you will learn all about what is Zoom, creating an account, how to access Zoom on your computer, how to access Zoom on your mobile or tablet, hosting a meeting and inviting others to join, and joining a meeting. Zoom is an online application which can be used to connect with others in a whole range of ways. The main purpose of Zoom is to have online meetings with others using video, audio, and chatting through text. You can chat to or call individual contacts or join a group session. A group session is called a meeting and can be used to conduct or join a class or discussion. To create an account with Zoom, Firstly, you need to get onto their website. Open up your internet browser and type in zoom.us. You can also find them by searching for Zoom in Google. Once you are on their website, find the button which says sign up and click on this. You will be asked to enter your date of birth and email address. Once you have done this, you will receive a confirmation email from Zoom, which looks like this. Click on Activate Account and a new window will pop up. You will then be asked to enter your full name and then create a password. Type in these details and click Continue. You now have a Zoom account. To access Zoom on your computer, get onto their website by typing zoom.us in your internet browser. Once the web page is loaded, you can sign in by clicking on the Sign In button and entering in the Zoom account login details that you created earlier. You can either access all the different options for Zoom directly through your internet browser or you have the option of downloading a special Zoom app onto your computer. To do this, find and select the option which says Resources and then Download Zoom Client in the drop-down menu. When the page loads, select the Download button under the heading Zoom Client for Meetings. Once this is downloaded, you will be asked if you want to join a meeting without signing in or sign in. Select sign in and enter your Zoom account details. You should now see the Zoom homepage on your computer, which looks like this. To download Zoom on your mobile or tablet, go to your App Store. If you have an Apple device, this will be called the App Store. On Android, this will be the Play Store. Type in Zoom in the search bar. Once you have done this, tap in Store next to the Zoom icon. This will download the Zoom app onto your phone or tablet. Once it is downloaded, open the app. You will see the option to either join a meeting, sign up or sign in. Use the account details you created earlier to sign in. 
You will now see the main page with many options to get you started. Tap on each of these to explore. You can start a new meeting, join a meeting set up by someone else, schedule an upcoming meeting and share your screen with a contact. You will also see the option to add contacts to your list. If you have been invited to join a meeting, you can choose to add your name so people can see who you are, along with audio and video so you can talk to others. If you do not wish to do this, you can change these options and chat to others in the meeting with just text instead. To host a meeting on Zoom, open up the home page. Find and select the option which says schedule a meeting. Here you can put in all the details for the meeting you want to host, such as the topic, time and whether you want to use audio or video. Once you have completed these, the meeting will be added to your schedule. You now have the option of inviting others to join you in the meeting. This can be done by sending them a unique link, meeting ID and passcode to their email, which Zoom will generate for you. Click on the button which shows which type of email you use, either one set up on your computer, Gmail or Yahoo Mail. You can also choose to copy the link or invitation to send it separately by selecting one of the options shown here. If you want to host the meeting through your mobile, follow the same options in the app. You will find the scheduled meeting listed under the Meetings tab on the bottom of your screen. Once the meeting is due to start, select the Start option. You will now be asked to check your audio and video. As people begin to join the meeting with you, you will have the option of allowing them in. Otherwise, they will wait in a virtual waiting room for you to accept them when you're ready. As a host, you will have the option of turning on and off their audio so you can not hear them in the meeting, along with their video. If your participants wish to have their audio turned on, they can select Raise Hand, which is a request for you to turn on their audio so they can talk. Once the meeting is over, you can either leave the meeting yourself or end it completely for all participants. If you have been invited to join a meeting or a class, you will receive an email which contains a unique link, meeting ID and passcode. One option you have is to get onto the Zoom homepage, select the box which says join and enter these details when asked. Otherwise, not long before the meeting is due to start, click on the link in your email. This will open up a web page where you can either join the meeting in the internet browser or through the Zoom app that you have downloaded. You can choose to log in first or simply join the meeting as a guest. It is best to check now to make sure you have a working inbuilt microphone on your computer or phone. You may have to plug one in. Your host may want you to use a video in the meeting too. Likewise, you can use the camera inbuilt into your computer or phone, or 
you may have to find a separate camera which plugs into your computer. Once you have made your selection, you will see a page like this. You will need to wait for the host to start the meeting and allow you to join. When the meeting begins, you will have the option of turning off your microphone or video. Normally the host will do this for you before the meeting begins. If you wish to chat to other people in the meeting, select chat at the bottom of the screen. You will now see a window on the side where you can type messages to others. In the main larger square, you will be able to see the faces of anyone who has their video turned on in the meeting. If somebody is sharing their screen, you will be able to see this here too. Explore the buttons at the bottom. If you wish to have your microphone turned on in the meeting, select the option which says participants and then raise hand. This will tell the host that you wish to speak and they can turn your microphone on. If you wish to finish the meeting, select the red end button at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for joining us for an introduction to Zoom with Tech Savvy Seniors. Stay tuned for more sessions.